hello, welcome to today's tiny tip. We're going to talk about strumming today, get you started making some noise on your ukulele. So we're going to get into position, which you learned how to do in tiny tip number one. And we're going to be, I'm going to be referring to probably our right hand mostly because that's what most of us will be strumming with, but use whatever is your strumming hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a very loose and relaxed hand and wrist. Fingers especially are going to be really important. You don't want to have stiff robotic arm strums, no straight fingers. We're going to be loose and relaxed and we're going to really use the wrist action mostly, not totally turning side to side or around like this, but um, being able to not do a full arm strum like this either. We want to keep it efficient and we want to hit the sweet spot on the ukulele which is where the body and the neck meet sort of in this area here. This is where we're going to get the nicest tone. Play around with it and see what you like but this generally uh, seems to produce the nicest sound and of course it seems to be where our hand wants to naturally fall if we're holding our ukulele this way. All right so the trick is to stay loose and what we're going to do is we're going to come across the strings on the down strum and you're going to be kind of clipping some of your fingernail on the way down like this and when you come back up you're going to have the more, more of the pad of your finger on the way up, which actually produces a nicer sound when you strum because you'll have a little bit stronger sound on the way down and a little bit lighter sound on the way back up. So for a basic strum, that's kind of what we want. All right, so let's practice a little bit and remember light and relaxed and loose. All right, here we go. We're going to do down up strums together. Down, up, down. forward index finger strum, pretty standard ukulele strum. Um, and you know you can also use your thumb to do a down strum, which is how some people get started because it's maybe a little bit easier. And what you would do is you're just going to bring your thumb down across the strings gently again in that same spot. And that's going to give you just a down strum. We don't generally want to up strum with our thumb because we're going to be hitting the nail on the way up and that'll give us an accent on the way up. Sometimes you want that, but not right now. We're going to want our accents on the down beats. Okay, so that's a thumb strum. I do really want you to try and focus though on your index finger. That's going to be a really important one. It'll allow you some flexibility later on to do more advanced strum patterns if you get comfortable strumming with that index finger. Remember, not too hard because you don't want to hurt yourself and you don't want to be clipping the strings either. You want it to be relaxed and loose. And sometimes I even suggest if you're having trouble to see how lightly you could strum before you lose sound entirely. That's one of the ways to get sort of the feeling of looseness and lightness on those strings without killing your finger. So let's try that index finger strum again one more time. And we're gonna do it this time with a little bit of a lilt. We're gonna add a slightly longer down strum and it'll come up a little bit faster. So it's a bit of a swing, a bit of a shuffle strum is another way that it's referred. So we're gonna try that, ready? Here we go. Down, up, down. practicing that down up. Use your index finger. Loosen light is the trick and have some fun with it. We'll see you next time.